everybody, and welcome to Famous Dave's Q-Tips. I'm Joe Schmidt, along with the maestro of the grill, Charlie Torgerson. And Charlie, what do we got going today? We got Famous Dave's award-winning ribs, Joe. We're going to score the membrane first. All right. What you take it, like here, and that's the membrane. And why are we scoring it? Well, what we do this for is at the end, when we finish these on the grill, that membrane is going to pop up because we scored it. It's going to get nice and crunchy, and so when you're biting on it, you get that little crunch and the tender rib, and it just makes for a better, better rib. The famous Dave's way. Yeah, the famous Dave's way. So we're going to give it a little score here. All right, the okay. score is now three nothing. Yes, three right. <laughs> you we're are. Yeah, we're ready to go. And what we're going to do? I got a two-gallon Ziploc bag. You can get those in any grocery store. It's a great way to marinate any kind of meat, okay, or vegetables or anything. You can seal it; it won't tip over in your fridge. So what we're going to do here is just going to give this a little roll. Throw it in a Ziploc bag here, two gallon Ziploc bag. What we're gonna do here with this one, we're just gonna put just straight Famous Dave's rib rub on this one. Okay. So if you don't have time to marinate, because the marinade process should be three to four hours. Yep. If you don't have time to marinate, you come home at night, you have these ribs all thawed out, just put some rib rub over the top, boom, you're ready to go right in the smoker all right, or your man. grill. As long as you're doing all the work, Charlie, you want a little variety. Oh yeah, we're gonna use two marinades today. Okay. A pork marinade which is this one right here, mm -hmm. Famous Dave's Pork Marinade. And then we're also going to use a Famous Dave's Chicken Marinade. Chicken on pork. Chicken on pork. Well, it actually is a magic potion, as Dave Anderson, the founder, calls it. And it works great on beef, chicken, pork, vegetables, salad dressings, make a little coleslaw out of it, whatever you want. If Famous Dave says it works, I believe it. Oh, yeah. Him. We yeah. all believe him. Absolutely. So what we're going to do is just take our pork marinade, dump it in here, about a half a bottle or so. Yep. Okay. Bring it over to our board here, and we're just going to give it a little flip and a seal. All right, so we have our chicken marinade in here. I can't wait to try that. Oh yeah, it's it's awesome. It's really really good stuff. And then we're going to just seal it the same way we did with our pork marinade. Flip her over. They're in the fridge and they're ready to go. Marinate and magic. Yes, three to four hours. All right, we'll get them in the fridge. All right, Charlie, we've had these marinating for three and a half mm -hmm. hours. Now it's time to get down to the fun stuff. Yeah, we're going to do a little rubbing. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> a little rubbing. So I have a pork marinated one here, our chicken marinated one here, and just our plain spare rib here, nothing on it. Right. Okay, that's your easy one that you do when you get home from work, and boom, done, little rubbing in the smoker. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do with the marinated ones, here, right here I have some brown sugar, okay, and I'm just going to put some on here on both of these. Now we're going to use some dehydrated onion okay. on there. Okay. And you can find this in any store. Oh yeah, brown sugar and dehydrated onion, yep. Okay, then we're going to just kind of rub it in. And you notice we're only doing the meat side, we're not doing that membrane side. Okay. We just want to, we just want to season the meat, not the bone. So we're rubbing the brown sugar and the onion end to end, okay? Because mm -hmm. we're going to eat the whole thing. So we want to make sure it's nice and even. And now it's time for rib number three. Yep, rib number three. And we're also going to finish our marinated ones too okay. with our famous Dave's rib rub. Are you ready to rub? I am ready to rub. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yes. What you do is just, again, you can be liberal with this. We're going to just put it on there. We're going to come back and rub. So don't be, don't be bashful. Don't huh? be bashful. And you got to kind of play the wind here. <laughs> yeah, just you like know, a golf <laughs> gun. You've done this before. Yes, a few, few of them. You know what they say, Charlie, smoke them if you got them. Well, we're going to do it. Let's, Let's go do it. it. We're going to load it up in our smoker here, our AmeriQ made by Cook Shack. Again, meat side up. All right? Yep. The ribs are on the rack. We're ready to smoke. We're using hickory today, Joe. And why hickory? Well, hickory, is uh, it's got a great smoking flavor to it. It's got a low burning point, so you won't overcook your ribs. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just the ideal thing to use. It's only what we use at Famous Dave's is hickory. All right, let's close her up. Close her ready. up. Perfect. All right, so we're going to set our temp right here, 225. This is fully computerized AmeriQ by Cook Shack for 225. Okay, okay we're going to set our time for three hours. Mm -hmm. And this is fully computerized. We use these Cook Shacks at all our Famous Dave's, okay? A little bit bigger versions of right. this. This is available at famousbbq.com, okay? You just hit the start button, and you're and, ready to roll. And all the spices, all the rubs, all the sauces. Marinade, sauces, jerky, yep, the whole all, works. All available yep. at famousbbq.com. You are correct. All right, Charlie, let's pull the pork. All right, all we're right. pulling the ribs, let's go. Look at that smoke, huh? Still smoking away. It smells great. Look at that. There's our one with oh, the pork marinade. That's heaven. It's beautiful. Here's our one with the chicken. Look at nice and caramelization on there. Looking pretty. It smells beautiful. And then here's our dry rub one on top. 
Looking nice, looking nice. Now we're gonna, what we're gonna do is get the nice char on this. And again, we scored that membrane for a reason. We're gonna char the membrane on the one side, get it all nice and crunchy. And then from there, we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna start saucing with Famous Days Rich and Sassy or your favorite Famous Days barbecue sauce. There we go. A nice kiss on that. A little flame going. Come up and give it a little mop here from Rich and Sassy. And you got all kinds of Famous Dave sauces to choose. Oh yeah, do any of your favorites, you know. I like the Rich and Sassy too, yep. that's good stuff. You can even use the teriyaki uh, marinade right at this point too. Oh, look at that. Look at that, huh? Yeah, oh, I'm gonna okay. take that one off okay. there because they're done. As Will Rogers once said, he never met a rib he didn't like. <laughs> look at that, we're gonna chop these up now here. You can get this Q-tip and other recipes at FamousBBQ.com. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Now I know why these are famous.